Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's start with nomenclature of elements with atomic number 100. What happens is generally these atomic number uh, elements with atomic number 100 are generally discovered in the labs and uh, the names of these uh, new elements were based on the discoverer. They were the, dis the discoverer generally used to uh, give their names for that. And this name was finally suggested by IUPAC. This was the tradition where the discoverer generally recommended a name and then IUPAC used to ratify this. But there have been scenarios where this uh, controversy was there because of this name. Why? The scientists, what they used to do is before collecting reliable data, they used to get tempted to claim for discovery because if somebody has claim, uh, found the uh, element, it is a big privilege, right? It's a big thing. The element is named after him and he, he gets all the name and fame. So scientists, just to get the name and fame, they claim for the discovery of that particular element before even getting the reliable data. So with that, uh, if you see this scenario happened where this American and uh, Russian scientists, they claim for discovery of element 104. So the American scientist named it uh, Rutherfordium, the Soviet scientist named it uh, Khrushchevodium, right? So they, they both claim for this and there was a conflict here because uh, the IUPC has not even ratified this name, right? But they, they both claim for this uh, element and they both give a different name. So all this created confusion, right? To avoid such pro problem, what this IUPAC did was, it said that uh, until, until the new element discovery is proved and ratified by IUPAC, right? What you should do is the, the scientist who has found this new element should use a proper naming convention given by IUPAC to name it. And once it is approved by uh, the IUPAC group or IUPAC panel, it gets the name, right? So the temporary name, then the IUPAC name which I'm talking about is a temporary name which is given to a, a newly discovered element and then the proposal is made to this IUPAC uh, committee and this committee has representative from all the countries and they, then they decide okay yes this is correct and we can go ahead with the name and then they give the name to that uh, particular element based on maybe the scientist who has discovered it or the lab which was used right for example we'll take this so the convention is if it is zero we'll use the word nil if it is one it will use the word UN, it is 2, we will use the word BI, for 3, we will use 3I, for quad, 4 quad, like this, we will use the word. For example, if you see the element is, let's suppose, 101, right? If you want to find the IUPAC name for this, what is 1? One? 1 is UN, UN. so we will say UN. And then 0 is nil, so I'll say nil. And then again 1, this is un. And then we'll append this with em. That is the convention. So name of the atom, uh, element with atomic number, so the temporary name, the, the, the temporary name or temporary IUPAC name for element with atomic number 101 will be un nil unium. Let's suppose we take example of 130. Two letters, right? So one is UN, three is try, two is by, and EM we have to add. So it will be UN tribium. So this is nothing but uh, element with atomic number 32. You can take more example. You can take something called, let's suppose, 245. Uh, I mean, it is not existing now but let's suppose there's something called 245 discovered after 30 years so 2 is by 4 is quad 5 is pen and then we'll append this word en so the name will be by quad pentium right everything will be together actually by quad pentium so this is the way of IUPAC nomenclature, right? 0 is nil, 1 is uh, UN, 
2 is by 3 is try uni uni means one right uni code so from that only un has come quad pent hex sept op so these are some examples of the atomic number for example uh, 101 is unilium the right? symbol is unu and uh, its official name recognized was mendy libium and the same iupac symbol is md so the one with dot uh, star actually the one with star is something whose iupac name is not yet announced and the one is plus is something which is not yet discovered so if you see this guy for example 112 its name will be un un by m right un un by m and it is a uh, symbol will be uub correct and i uh, for this the official name is not yet uh, recognized the symbol is also not yet recognized and for for you see 113 it is not even discovered right? it is not even discovered so this is a list of uh, atomic uh, this is the table which has uh, The elements with atomic number more than one zero zero more than hundred. So you see, these are the ones which are recognized by IUPAC. Let's take one example. We have to find the IUPAC name and the symbol for this element, atomic number one twenty. So one twenty one is UN, two is by, and zero is nil. And then I will have to use EM. So the name will be U by EM, and symbol will be you first take U B and N. So U B N will be the symbol. Or U P S is it? Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again